Good evening. A major operation has been underway in the Brecon Beacons after a group of children went missing. Mountain rescue teams, emergency services and the Coast Guard's rescue helicopter were deployed to find a group of 26 teenagers who were doing their Duke of Edinburgh award. The 15-year-olds from London got... So, Nick, just how serious is this then for Labour? Well, this is one of the biggest crises the party uh, has ever faced. Clearly, the MPs... Uh, whether Jeremy Corbyn even voted leave in the referendum campaign. And then if you... How do you think party members would vote if there was a leadership contest? Well, the... Thank you very much. Well, the First Minister also said this morning that he'll make sure Wales gets the best deal following the Brexit vote and stress the importance of access to the single market. It comes as Welsh Secretary Alan Cairns has been meeting business leaders, telling them they'll be supported in a post-EU Britain. Our business correspondent Brian Meakin has more. The MP for Priscilla, Pembrokeshire, Stephen Crabb, has launched his campaign to become the next Prime Minister. The Work and Pension Secretary dismissed claims he's too inexperienced to replace David Cameron as Conservative leader and said his background in negotiating further power for Wales puts him in a good position to take Britain out of the European Union. He's the first MP to throw his hat in the ring and addressed a packed press conference this morning. Well, David, he's confident he can be the Prime Minister. Are you... Well, Stephen Crabb. Still to come in the programme, and more from the First Minister on the Wales Report. That's at 10.40 tonight here on BBC One Wales. I'll have a quick update for you at 8 and more after the BBC News at 10. But for now, from all of us here, thank you for your company and do have a really good evening. Bye-bye.